your buddy Robert Crutchfield from CrutchfieldCooks.com here. Did you realize there is a utensil in the kitchen that is so commonly used that most, if not all, chef jackets have a pocket especially for it? What is it? The meat thermometer. Today, in particular, we want to talk about the Instant Read Digital Thermometer. This one is quite handy because the probe is very uh, flexible in the, in the number of positions that it'll go into. What's nice about a digital Instant Read Thermometer is you have the digital screen that gives you a temperature and it gives you the temperature instantly. But how do you use it? It's as simple as this. Take this meatloaf for instance. What you want to do is go into the thickest part somewhat like this. But you have to be careful. See it, just, it almost bursts through the top. You want to make sure that you go very straight so that you get into the absolute middle of the dish you're measuring. You want to go through the thickest part and you want to make sure that it doesn't poke out through the top and you want to make sure you go straight that it doesn't come through the bottom because if it goes too far down you'll be measuring the temperature of your pan and this is not going to tell you anything. How do you know it's done? Well there's two definitions to done when it comes to food. There's what is safe and what tastes good to you. In terms of ground meat or something made out of ground meat like this meatloaf, done is 160 degrees. Whereas the so-called muscle cuts, your steaks, your chops, uh, your roasts, those are considered safe as low as 145 degrees. This meatloaf is a good example of the other definition of done, and that is what tastes good to you. This meatloaf is safe to eat at 165 degrees, but I generally cook it closer to 190 to 200 because to me and my family, that's what tastes better. Thin fish, for instance, uh, cod, tilapia, uh, catfish, uh, those kind of things are safe to eat at 145 degrees. And you have to be careful. Uh, pork in particular has a narrow temperature range between done and burnt. Not done and overdone, but done and burnt. So you have to be very careful with pork that you don't cook it a large degree past 160 where it becomes safe. Or that you don't cook it a long period of time uh, past it reaches that temperature. But the key thing with a digital instant read thermometer or any kind of meat thermometer is to get into the center of what you're cooking because that is what you want to know is the temperature in the middle not the temperature on the end or the side in the middle. One more point when taking the temperature of poultry chicken and turkey you don't want one measurement like we just did here you want to take a measurement at the thickest part of the breast, the thickest part of the wing, and the thickest part of the thigh. And you need to be at 165 degrees in all three locations. One of the leading causes of cooks ending up with meat dishes that are dry or tough or chewy is overcooking in order to make sure that they're done. This little gadget right here that we're talking about today 
is your new best friend as far as preventing that from happening. So get yourself a good meat thermometer, learn how to use it, and I think you'll see a lot better results in your cooking.